It's Grace. And it is Grace. From Grace and Grace. Today we're doing a video about our fashion college experience because to this day we still get questions and I feel like it's the time of year where people are looking at what they're going to do for college, for college or for uni maybe because they do have uni courses like so, we still get questions like it's probably my most asked question to this day on my dms is about fashion college. fashion college like did you enjoy it because i feel like it is a bit of a unique schooling route there's only one of this school we went to in london and that's the fashion retail academy and it's quite a niche isn't it because yeah you're going into, so into something so specific i feel like when people think of like what am i going to do after gcse's a lot of people just think sixth form. But there's actually so many more options and fashion college is such a good option if you're passionate or seeing the subject. And like for us, none of the subjects in sixth form are really standing out to no. us. We, like, we'll talk about that more with your questions, but sixth form was just not for sixth us. Sixth form was, yeah, it was it never, never was. And we have done one of these videos before, but we thought we'll do another one to like update you and ask more yeah. specific, because obviously like you've, the you one we did was a year ago. Yeah, we still get questions, so obviously there's some that, yeah. that aren't answered. Why did you choose to go to Fashion Retail Academy as opposed to your local college or A-levels after you finished your GCSEs? The reason I personally, I actually was not going to go to Fashion College originally. My, I was like, I'm going to do sixth form. And then I looked around the sixth form and, and I, I just, just knew it wasn't for me. I just think sixth form for us is like going from school to, to school. school. And our school personally was too strict. It didn't give you enough oh. independence. And we wanted to be able to do like YouTube and social media on the side and have like a bit of a life. Yeah. But like kind of grow up a bit and yeah. not be like treated like a child, child anymore. And that's why we kind of chose the Fashion Retail yeah. Academy because it's more independent. And then obviously it's literally two days a week and you're traveling into London like a big city. So it's, it's fun, you know? Yeah, like yeah. in the big, if you already have a job or you want to work and do school, this is a perfect course because it's literally two days away. Like everybody worked on the other day, on their other days, and also obviously it's so specific into fashion. Like we both knew 100% we want to work in fashion, even if we weren't doing YouTube. Yeah, exactly. It was, was, it was, our, it was our passion. It was our passion, <laughs> and I feel like if you like if you choose to go to the Fashion Retail Academy, you're gonna be one step ahead. They wouldn't have done like a lot of the things that you would have. Yeah, they've, they've chose more general subjects so if you're doing fashion specific, that's more impressive. It prepares you for uni as well because the, the, the actual projects you do, I think are very similar to a uni fashion project. So yeah, a lot of people, yeah, they think if you go to a fashion college, you won't have enough UCAS points for uni. That is not true. We actually applied for uni even though we aren't going because you can't tell. We applied. We're we're, right yeah, we, apl we should have started like a month ago if we were oh gonna go. God. We had a place yeah, which in was, Nottingham. Oh my God. But yeah, you get so many. So we both graduated with distinctions. And that is equivalent to like three A stars. A yeah. Level. What, so like, guys, this is the funny thing, right? <laughs> my sister went to sixth form and got three A's or three A stars. I actually had more UCAS points than my sister. And that is crazy. And like, I people had more look UCAS down. Points. People look down on BTECs because they see it as less like yeah, intelligent. Like, yeah. But sorry, we have more UCAS At points. At the end of the day, you come out with like if you do well obviously you come out with more or like the same as anyone else would have if with UCAS points and you've so done something you actually want to do yeah like so not... don't worry about the UCAS points that we got into all the unis we applied for so that's not an, I thought that I was it's not an issue at that. all but guys you, get, you trust me you get the UCAS points don't if you, you do worry well in your FMP even if you don't get slack if you get a <laughs> if you get a distinct what's the one below distinction merit merit even a merit would be high in point oh yeah merit would be so high but well, you're talking to two distinctions she's distinction a distinction girls so we only know about that i pulled it out the bag in the last week the last week i <laughs> did not stop on my project oh. what did a day in college look like explain a day in the life okay so as we said two days a week so i think our first year was like a Tuesday and a Wednesday and then our last year was a Friday which was not as good. Not <laughs> um, but it was good to be up in London on a Friday. Yeah, do you know what there was an atmosphere? It was good to be in London. But so obviously I think the classes started at like nine. Yeah, class well, we're trying to think two years back. And we used to get our prepped coffee in the morning because we had the subscription it's next to thing. prep. Um obviously you get like your training our train we got like an hour before you get your tube we got the half seven train Tottenham court road so you're like in the 
It's in, really fun. In the hub. You feel like you're going to work. You feel yeah. like you're like you're on the work train. Yeah. You're on like the 7 a.m. train night. Like, we're ready. ready. <laughs> um, but yeah, you like, so you have like an ITT room or there's just normal classrooms. You sit in there, talk to all your friends and wait for your tutor to come in who's like basically your teacher. And you have like one teacher. And that right. teacher... Well, we oh. had we had one teacher, but I think that was because of COVID. Yeah. But there are teachers that like spec spec specify yeah. in different subjects. Like you'll have one for like visual merchandising, one for communications. Like you'll have that was how like, it was before COVID. Yeah. But then after COVID, things were a little bit different for us because yeah, we went in the peak of COVID. Yeah. So we just had one teacher, Mariam. Shout Mariam. out, shout out to Mariam. But yeah, depending on the day, it will depend on what classes you have. Like visual merchandising was our favourite. We yes. loved visual merchandising. And that's more like, you know, like kind of... Jason. Jason. We love Jason. That's in like a kind of textiles room, very creative. You like make things. Or you'll be in like an ICT room, communications. Like you just learn all sorts. Yeah, and then when you can actually do a project, what's nice is that like the final project is normally chosen by you, what you yeah. do. So whatever is your strongest point, you can decide. Or whatever whatever you can sector pick you want to go into, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can choose, so which I think is really BM, good. People did communication. We did marketing. We did we marketing. Guys. That's what we like. And, and you learn about like a, such a range of stuff. Like you'll learn about environmental friendly fashion, like um, working in fashion. Like it's such a broad range of stuff you learn about. And you have breaks. You, you get a lunch. 20 minute break in between the first lesson, then you get lunch, then you get another lesson, another break. break. Lesson. And it's so fun because at lunch, you're in London. Like you're in you, London. We used to go for pizza, we used to go for Nando's, Pat, like all of the cool crepes. You're in the Soho, like you're in the the hub, the hub of the food. club. And we, do you not remember just being sat there like, what are we going to, yeah, like, the pasta place. We found, this is how we What's found our love of Cacio Pepe. Was it al dente? Al dente. If you're going to Fra, go to Al Dente. Oh my god, it's about a five minute walk. It's, it's the best, the best catch I've ever had. Okay. That's what got us into it. it. I've never had better. I've never had better. <laughs> Guys, it's just so much fun being in the centre of London. So like a day, a, no, a day is nine to five, so it's designed so it's like a working day, so it prepares you to basically work up for in like London. a real life. Yeah, because school's like nine till three or something yeah so it is a long day but obviously it's only two days a week so it's like and you have so many breaks yeah and it's, it's actually fun you don't mind being yeah. there till five it's fun. it's fun and then yeah so it's basically preparing you for a working day um and how you're taught it's very independent learning yes very independent but i think that's good because Again, it prepares you for real life. The real life, the real world. You're not going to be like mothered at a job, like you have to do it yourself. Yeah, exactly. And that's the whole point of it. So yeah, you have like teachers, but they're not, like you call them by like their first names. So it's, it's so different to school. And yeah. it's not, you kind of, they don't shout at you because it's like everyone has like respect for them and wants to hear what they're like saying. Adult. Do you know no. what I mean? There's no shouting. It's not, no, it's very like, it's way more mature and grown up than school. Like you go there, you listen and it's like, you were treated like an equal, an equal, and <laughs> which is at the bare minimum. But coming from an all girls Catholic school, it was so it was so strict. strict. So, so for us, it's a bit nice to actually be spoken to like a yeah. A they human. treat you a bit respect. <laughs> the teachers have no respect at schools. <laughs> did you go to? Did going to fashion college influence your fashion today? For my final project, I did it on. I pr pretty much did the, did it on my own style. So I did like. Parisian and like inspired by the 90s and when I was doing that I made so many Pinterest boards of outfits and like aesthetics. It and got us into Pinterest. And, and then eventually like because we, we did the final project on what we love and on our own style it helped me like figure like be more specific with how I want to dress and yeah. what my personal like brand is because like as an influencer you need like your own brand personal then. brand. That's what we learned about in the fryer as well yeah having your own personal brand and i feel like making all the pinterest boards helped me find my personal style mm. what about you that's what i liked about it though because I, I feel like when well, you you don't have to do it your final project anything about you like some people did it about mm. anything completely different but that's what i loved about it because you could actually like i did a photo shoot my mum took all the pictures mine was like a 70s brand and it was so much fun because it was all my own clothes all my own style like it was just honestly so much fun. But that's what I loved about it. But also, 
what I really liked about this is before going to fashion college, I was so nervous at what I was going to wear every day. I was like, what the hell am I going to wear to fashion college? You everyone's think that gonna everyone's really going to dress up and like, guys, it's so chill, which is nice. Because Most people wear tracksuits. When you're getting up at like 7am, it's like, do you know what I mean? Most people are just com wear comfy And you can clothes. wear anything. Like, if you're stressed about what to wear to fashion college, don't even worry. Some people come in in, like, bodycon dresses, and other people come in in literal tracksuits. But if you're going out for dinner that night, or you're doing something in London that night, you can dress up. There's no judgment at there's fashion no college. Judgment. Like, you, you can, can wear whatever you want. So, there's, like, um, there's a retail side, and there's a design side, and we did fashion retail. The design side, they'll come in in, like, bin bags. Yeah, they wear and crazy would even stuff. Look the this other girl way. came in in, like, a teddy bear jacket yeah. one. And that's just like, oh, another day at Fra. A usual day. Another day at Fra. Okay. Is there many job opportunities once you leave? If you pass your... Course, level three. Your level three. If you pass it, you're guaranteed a spot at the Fra to study, which I think is really good. One of our class went on to do apprenticeships, which Fra really do help you with. But, like... So many people in our class went on to such cool jobs. Like a girl in our class works for Skinny Dip. People work for like really cool brands. I've seen people like traveling with really cool brands. Yeah, and, like, like it's of, so yeah. fun seeing what people do. Like everyone we went to Fra with has such cool fashion jobs now, and I do think it's because Fra do have really good connections. Like they had a opening day and there was all kinds of loads of brands and brands, and you went up to them. They would like write down who they wanted to like maybe have an interview with, and. Yeah, I do think you get real connections going to the fra. They are really helpful with getting a job. They've got outside really good connections. Because they want you to work. They want you to have a job whilst you're in fra. And also they want to secure you something when you go. So was it easy to make friends? I would say yeah. Yeah. Everyone because is in the same boat. Like everyone, everyone has the same interest. We were a bit nervous, which you're going to be because you're going to a new school and a new environment. But everybody is in the same boat. Everyone wants to make friends. And you will eventually make friends because you're like stuck with, with your class for the whole year. And there's like 30? 30 people. 30 people. And if you're with them every, well not every day, but like twice, twice a, a day. Week. Yeah. So you're going to make it. I mean, I do think the friendships form slower because it's only yeah. twice a week. Whereas at sixth form, it's all week. So friendships like form, they might take a bit longer to form because obviously you're not seeing them every day. But also it's quite nice because it's not as like overwhelming with friendships because i feel like as you, as you get older you kind of it becomes more and more daunting the thought of making new friends and they have common rooms so you can meet other people trip weeks yeah the trips we really wanted to do we missed because of COVID. covid but there's lots of opportunities to make friends but like yeah it's not as overwhelming as sixth form definitely we not. would have like i i just couldn't have done it i could i could it. not have done it honestly <laughs> but it gave us confidence because like you have to talk to people yeah so it kind of helps just think everyone's and everyone wants to make friends everyone and like everyone friends. has the same interest in fashion they're all fashion yeah ladies, it's, it's you, you all already have something in common mm. so that's that's a good point grace how difficult was the workload and how did you handle it Try i honestly back. i honestly think okay the final projects at the end of the year are the ones that like you have to pull it out the bag for I so agree. i think you can kind of put in as much effort you could do past level work if you want to get a pass. But if you want to get a distinction, you, you've got to put hours in. I think it's yeah the time you put into it. Yeah. Do you? But also, I think what I liked about the FRA is you do get... Sometimes you'd get homework, but it would be like one task. Because they, again, they want you to work outside the FRA. Like, they know those they three other days have a job. you have a job. You don't have time to be sat at home doing homework. So they wouldn't give you loads of workload outside of the college, which I loved. I found the workload actually very very manageable like grace said the the biggest workload you'll get is in the end of your second year when you're doing your fmp because you get months to do that though, yeah there's no like tests there's no exams it's the project it's coursework but what i loved is like throughout the whole year none of that matters really it's the last that you get graded on that fmp and obviously that yeah it all depends on how much effort you put in yeah that one like we had friends that like scraped by and didn't really do a lot of work and didn't they got a pass and they got a pass so you just do whatever you want if you didn't do social media which path would you have taken in fashion after college oh i think marketing i know it's basic but i think it's like the opposite side of what we do so we kind of would be good at it is it opposite well, it's, it's not opposite, it's the, the other side. So, like, you'd be contacting, like, influencers. Yeah. I would do marketing. What would you do? Um, 
obviously like our, co our college course was kind of marketing i would probably do something in that but i definitely wouldn't work with influencers which is so funny because i am one um but i would yeah i'd work for a brand and probably i'd like to do their social media like i'd love yeah. to run a brand social media um so both like marketing creative things that's probably what we would have done in a different line what we know and love but just the other, the other side. side what did you learn that helps you in your job now part of our course we like made events we made marketing campaigns so it made us i feel like it gave us more of an appreciation for like what brands actually yeah, do so to like, work for us if we ever go to an event or we, if we ever do a brand campaign behind it is like we had to think about how much we were going to pay the influencers to yeah promote the back the back end stuff that we don't really do it was interesting to learn about yeah it gave, gave us a new appreciation for like brands and the effort they put in and everything like that um also like grace said we learned a lot about branding your like brand branding message. ourselves you look a lot into influencers so that's like a big part of the course which obviously is interesting for us um and yeah like the fmp that's probably where you're gonna learn the most because you're it's kind of all your own research and you look so deeply into like making clothes how you do it where you like factories you learn about everything. yeah there's also like a buying you could do your thing in if you like buying and merchandising yeah. if you like um does vm well, vm what was the other one communication communications like there's so many different things you can do it on we're talking about a lot about marketing because that's what we did but the possibilities are endless really you learn about it all and then at the end of the course you kind of go off your own Wrong. and do something in one specific and do your thing. your strongest point or is it is it affordable and how did you afford it lunch travel etc of course london is expensive like we're not stupid every city is so expensive and we were spending a lot of money on like because we used to get pasta it just you can kind of spend however much you want um, yeah you can sit in the classroom and eat your you own can bring food a packed lunch home. yeah like you they have breakfast club like there are ways you can save your money but because we were in London, we just chose to eat out. But we got like the Pret subscription, so you can get is it thirty? Is it, I think pounds, it's twenty five pounds a month. Well, we had the we had the free. Um, we signed up. We signed up for the free, and then, so you get it for free. And then I use my mum's email. <laughs> yeah, but you just cancel it and use someone else's. But yeah. there are ways you can save money like that. Um, also, if you use like a sixteen to seventeen rail card, you get a third off. So you train save tickets. a lot of money in your train tickets. You, can, you can do it affordably. Obviously, yeah. The you're most expensive to get the train. Ever. Yeah, that's the most expensive thing you pay for is a train. But again, it's literally two days a week. You so. can just bring your own lunch and drinks and stuff. Yeah, you can easily. Yeah, you can easily do it for a bit cheaper. Would you still choose to go if you were sixteen now? Yeah. Oh my god, that's such a sad. That's such a sad thing because we're like we're 20. four. That was four years we're ago. We're twenty now. We had a tour of the Fra four years ago. Oh my god, I still remember our tour day. Actually, did we go together? No, we didn't. No, I, didn't. I went with my auntie, my mum, you went your mum. But I still remember me and Grace went on the opening day together. Do you remember? Yes, and we got the photo. What photo? With the headband. I had a headband on. But they take the photo of you and put it on the card. Oh my god, yeah. They take a picture of you to like go on your little student card. Yeah. Which lets you into the And I've still got it. Because I always used to use my card and have to get a new one printed. So I have like five of them at home. Yeah, because she would always leave hers. And you meet like the head of Fra. Like I still remember all of that. Oh, I see. Really good old times but 100 percent, i would still do fra i'd do it all over again and i do wish we didn't have the covid thing so i would oh. i'd love to have experienced a lot of ours was online i would have loved to have you know i loved going into college i loved the, I, I, the idea of the, the trips you can go to like italy france new york new york like there's all different places you can go so but I would definitely do it again. I would 100% do it again. I like. don't know what else I would have done if Fra didn't exist. Did you, did you get to experience trips or work experience? So we didn't get work experience, again, because it was during COVID. We were supposed to have three weeks where you go and have the experience of working for a brand. Yeah, so you're guaranteed work. They get that for you, you're guaranteed work experience. And then you can put that on your CV for uni or, like, another job and yeah. even build connections. Because yeah, and there's really good brands that you can get, like, M&S. What were the other ones? Like House of Fraser? There was loads in all the head offices. Or all sorts of brands. So yeah, you definitely do get work experience. I would have, that would have been so interesting because we've never had a normal job. No, we've never like worked a normal we've job in our worked. life. So that would have been, that been like, really good. Kind of like Paris Hilton and Nicole probably. Yeah, the simple life. That would have been <laughs> interesting. And trips. Again, we didn't get any trips, but you can go to like Berlin. and Everything's Tokyo. back and running now. Yeah, but we didn't. Trips. 
I think we went to the V and A museum. We did V and A museum, and then I think we did were a factory. factory. We did a factory in London. Oh yeah, the factory. Where did you think we were gonna go? We were gonna do Bista Village, and then it got cancelled. Oh, we were so excited for Bista Village. We were so excited for our, bring us back to Bista. Level three fashion retail or design. So we chose retail because we that's a kind of bit we're more interested in, and also I like the fact that with retail you can go into loads of different things whereas designs more for students that are like set on wanting to be fashion designers yeah because that's obviously a lot more like specific specific whereas retail is literally like the whole because you also do learn about design yeah you do you do better the whole design. Of fashion so if you're not like 100 percent sure definitely do that obviously we were more we're more interested in marketing so retail was like the obvious choice that was our, our option yeah we were never considering design, design. we weren't design girls no Anything you wish you knew? I wish I knew. I wish I knew I whether I knew. I knew the past place <laughs> existed at from the start. start. Um, that is a good question. Not really anything I wish I knew, but like two years. I wish I made so the most quick. of it more being in London and being. Yeah, because obviously ours got cut to like a year because of COVID. I really wish I just soaked that year up and was like, I am in fashion college in London. Like it is the dream. It's such a dream. Thing. Like, imagine like us telling our 10 year old selves. We've we went to, to fashion college. college. Like it is such We'd a like, dream. What? Everyone, like it sounds so good and I do think it is as good as it sounds. Like you, you are yeah. studying. I just wish I soaked it up. It's a lot of girls dream to like study fashion and the fact that you can do it at age 16. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay, last one is overall would you recommend the fashion retail academy i yes. would i mean it is a great option if you love fashion and you get i love the teaching i love the way they tra treat you like an adult i love being in london there's really it nothing really suited us yeah there's really nothing bad i have to say about it i love that you can work oh i wish i made the most like we'll it. never go back into school oh like, that was like we'll never go back to schooling that was our last ever i used, i did love being in london as well yeah it's such an atmosphere and we would meet every day at Top of the Court Road and oh, we'd go and get, get your prep. Coffee. And then we'd sit in the classroom, we'd always get the half hour early because we love sitting in the classroom just chatting. Yeah, we and then just, the pasta. We would just gossip the pasta. The pasta. Jason, we Jason. Jason. He doesn't even work at Ferrari anymore, but he was a legend. Marion, Dean, Kelly, shout out to you guys. Shout if out any to you. of you guys have them, let us know. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you helped this. We hope this helped you if you're thinking of going to the far. We recommend it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.